I just uh, watched a movie called Ironclad about King George and the Magna Carta. And it kind of reminds me of the uh, signing of the Constitution as well. And uh, our fight and our role in World War or the role of World War II. And to think that we're being seduced and coerced by socialist geared programs which are being manipulated by powerful people to gain control and interest over the general public in the form of insurance and uh, apparently uh, undermining the tax system and uh, undermining the citizens' uh, sovereignty at every corner. Now, I made another video, and I dropped a few bad words in there, so this is it. This is kind of to the bottom, just the edges of it. But uh, we cannot stand for insurance mandates that enable insurance companies to accumulate wealth on top of the backs of the average citizens is no good okay that's social engineering okay and if we enable a few to rise up with the use of insurance then that's just putting the average policy holder further down reducing yet further the wealth of the citizens of the United States. Now this is the Medicaid form. A lot of y'all probably won't see this because you probably make more money than I was able to show last year. And uh, it's got a section here in step five that under I understand that federal and state laws, either one, require the Division of Medical Assistance, DMA, to file a claim against the estate of certain individuals, policyholders, tax citizens, to recover the amount paid by the Medicaid program, the time the time the individual receives assistance with certain medical services. So basically, they're going to say, you owe them. Okay, I'm a single parent. We have secured a house. Okay. I'm worn from life, you know. I get bad joint in one knee. I can operate. I got a neck from a bad neck from a car wreck on certain barometric pressure days. It hurts. Uh, I had the a flu. I was afraid to go get treated for because I didn't want to put no more money against this. But uh, so uh, that being said, the Watauga Medical Center up here happens to be a uh, state or tax paid system. It's the regional health care facility for this area. Which that means is they charge the landowners, the taxpayers, and citizens for... They get the appropriations through them avenues. And then they charge... They allow private individuals to set up residency there with a, a rent that they pay. And then they charge us $300 to get a sinus infection treated or a respiratory infection treated, which is a communicable virus. I mean, it's communicable that it, it, it's passed from person to person to person, but then that's $300 against me credit because I went to treat this communicable virus okay so uh we paid for it communicably 
positively, but we don't have access to it unless we go and uh, obtain a debt. Or, or I mean, you know, I can't afford three hundred dollars. I can't afford it in a month. I can't afford it maybe twice a year is about as much as I can come up with three hundred extra dollars. I know that from practice with speeding tickets. I get speeding ticket, then I get about five hundred dollars worth of bills on that. Or, I don't know, it used to run about $500 for a uh, ticket there for a while. And that takes all summer, you know, to pay off, you know. And that was ridiculous. I mean, I was a youth. I mean, you know, college age. But get hit with them, get hit with them. You know where I went when I was 20 to 30? Nowhere. I was too, well, no, 20 to 25? You know where I was too busy paying tickets. I didn't go nowhere. I didn't invest in nothing. Because I was too busy paying bullshit traffic citations. Which I've never been in an accident to date. Uh, to my fault. But yet I had to pay $500 for certain care work things. I got one DUI by the time I was 28, but we're not even talking about that. That's three more years down the road. I'm talking about from the time I was 18 to the time I was 25. I had to go to court all the damn time over citations, but I never once got in a fender bender. It's all been technical crap. The most expensive one, well, I did, I did, I did run off the road one time in the middle of the night. I pulled on the side of the road, guess what, it was a, Soft shoulder and the car rolled off the road. Period. Okay. I was at a dead stop when the car began to roll off the hill. But I got charged with, uh, let's see, uh, no insurance. Which I think I, I scanned out of. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, leaving the scene. And... Uh, But anyhow, it's about 500 bucks a whack a speeding ticket, whether you're doing 70 and 55, whatever it is, you know, $500 a whack. I don't know. I think a stop sign's there to determine who's at fault after an accident, not during a moving violation. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah.